tastemakers. Hey everyone, Tanya here. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm creating a fun tablescape. Uh, it's for Fiesta. Cinco de Mayo is coming up and uh, as a caterer and event planner I've been asked to create events for all types of occasions and uh, a lot of my my Mexican brothers and sisters, I'm not trying to show any disrespect. A lot of the Mexican Americans that I know don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo and everything. And uh, but I've been hired in the past to create you know, tablescapes and to create events for it, and it's fun. And uh, I uh, just decided you know to create a represent a Cinco de Mayo today, which is the Mexican Army's defeat over France uh, in 1800, I forgot the, the year. So, um, so today I just wanted to pull this together and have a little fun and, uh, and commemorate that occasion. Um, this, this serape, I've wanted a serape for so long, and I finally got one this year, and it finally came, so that's the base of my table, that's the runner here, and uh, the place settings are all the same, uh, I have a blue woven placemat, and the Mambo Collection dinnerware. I have the entire set. I'm just using the plates today. And I have a blue cloth a linen napkin. And um, let's see. And my glassware is all blue. So this is just a fun, uh, just a fun tablescape. And I got this uh, serape, one of the serape on its own, but I saw this kit in, in um, at Amazon, and so it had some other decor in it. It had it's the what is it called? It's called the Zero Deco Fiesta Party Decor Kit, and it also has this. You know, these decorations here this has the, the dots and I love paper fans and then you have that garland there it's always so beautiful and then another I it came with six different fans and I just arranged them like that and put them on the window and then uh, paper lanterns in the center. Now the kit came with all of this and it also came with some foil balloons that said Fiesta and some uh, what is those uh, paper pom-poms. I didn't use those but I did use everything else. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, yeah. Oh, and then I forgot this plant. I got this plant from uh, Big Lots. And um, then I got some small little candles there. And as an event planner, I'm always planning ahead. You know, I'm just used to it. I always look at my calendar, like what's going on in May? And two weeks out, I start pulling out, and, and I have a checklist for planning any event. If you have a dinner party or, you know, uh, an event, there's a certain timeline to get anything done. 
So normally two weeks before an event, I'll just start looking through what dinnerware do I have? What decor do I want to use? Glassware. And then what can I do a week before? And what can I do three days before and the day of? So that's just how I do. So you will be seeing, you know, decor and cooking and organ organizing and planning tips for how to throw a dinner party or any type of event. Okay, well I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I appreciate your support and I would love for you to hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload any new content. All right, well, thank you so much, tastemakers, and thank you for all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the table. All right, and bye, Mom. See you later. See you guys in my next video. Bye.